So I have an auto repair shop here and we have this uh, um, wireless phone system. It has three or four different phones and two wireless phones. And um, I wanted to hook up a PA system to our shop so I could page people out in the shop. And um, there's nothing really online for me to purchase that would just plug right in. So I just decided to make one. Did a little bit of research and I found out that if you cut the two wires, I'll, I'll post up the diagram. Uh, you cut these two, I think it's a green and a red wire um, on the phone line and splice in some resistors and a battery. Um, you are able to plug this into another phone and um, on that phone, uh, I just attached a cable to the headset and the phone's always on. It's located in, an, in a location that's like behind the office so no one really sees it. But um, all you really need to do is uh, put a battery on your phone line and plug it into another phone. Uh, this phone in particular has four different lines. Uh, we only have line one and two. Line three is not used and line four is for paging. Um, I'll go around to the back side of the office and show you how the rest of this is hooked up. So here's the phone, it's always on. And um, that phone line, it goes through the wall and then right up to the back of the phone for line one on this phone. And um, as you can see, the receiver is off. But I bought this little uh, headset um, adapter where you can plug a stereo connector um, into the receiver um, side for the headset here. And um, there's two different options. There's, well, if I can zoom in, uh, I can't really see it, but um, there's two different options. There's the microphone and there's the uh, headset. We only want the uh, the headset because we only want to hear what's coming out. We don't we don't, we don't want to talk back into it. This is then connected to a old receiver that I have. Um, I'm going to actually use this for a Bluetooth um, speaker for the shop and splice it in. Uh, but basically, all you need is an RCA. You just need one of uh, these two RCA, and then this plugs right into the phone like that um, I did have a um, an Amazon amplifier I purchased uh, it was this thing here uh, when I plugged it in it did not work whatsoever it, well it worked but it was like really really bad RF um, interference coming through and it was really loud and it was not acceptable for having out in the shop because my techs would just get annoyed with it. So um, I had this old receiver. Uh, I'm gonna wire it up better. Right now it's just for testing purposes. But um, I had this old receiver and I plugged just the RCAs into it. It's set up as, as uh, um, auxiliary in or tape in or whatever it was. And plugged it all together and it actually works really good. Um, the only thing I have to really Take into consideration is the nine volt battery that's plugged into that line. Um, another thing I did was I put, um, where is it at? I put RF cancelers on all the cords. So these are the just RF uh, frequency isolators. Uh, they just clip around any power wires or um, uh, I had some on the, the battery line just to reduce any noise that could be coming through the system. And um, I'll show you what it sounds like. Oh, again, this is the, uh, the battery and the resistors that I uh, wired directly in. Uh, these are the noise isolators, the RF isolators. Uh, that'll keep out any um, radio frequencies or um, high voltage frequencies that may feed back into the system. Um, I got them on pretty much every point um, other than the RCA. I never put any on that. Um, just because I was testing it and it ended up working just fine like this. Um, but if you do have any frequency, you know, radio frequency interference, I would definitely try those. They're 
They're only about, I don't know, $10 for a 20 pack on Amazon. Um, I'll provide the links of all the different products that I used uh, to build this. It was really inexpensive um, to buy. Um, even some of the things I did buy, you don't really have to get. You can just solder things in or whatever if you if you want. But I wanted to have like a quick disconnect for my nine volt battery and um, uh, little things like that so to make it really easy. Um, so this is how it works. Um, I've got a headset hooked up, but if you hit the line four, which is our paging system now, and put on that. This is a test. Everyone in the shop can now hear me. So that's how it works. It's really simple. Uh, it works on all of our lines. Um, my service writer up front can just hit line four on any phone and they can page anyone out in the shop. Uh, you could also hook up uh, speakers in other locations if you really wanted to. Uh, we don't really need to do that though. Uh, but uh, for the most part, it was pretty successful and I'm, I'm really happy with the results. Um, a lot of people online said, just go buy a system or whatever. And I, I'm kind of a cheap ass. I didn't want to go out and buy something if I can make something really simple. So um, this is really the, the best way to do it. Um, I'll provide the links, like I said, below. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or whatever, post up a comment. And uh, thanks for watching our video.